I was born here in Loiza. We have a lot of invention going on. The aesthetic of the masquerade related with the Fiesta de Santiago Apostol, related with African heritage. I like to play with it. A lot of energy going on, you know? And energy not only with Loisa of Puerto Rico, but with the Caribbean in general. There is a communication going above the language. There is something that is felt. There are so many stories related with immigration in the Caribbean. Most of the objects that I try to pick up are objects related with that story. I have found a lot of shoes, for example, you know, a lot of objects related with luggage. The sea brings it. I love it. The mangrove that I am doing upstairs needs a lot of green, you know, and this could also represent the forest, you know, beautiful. This is a great uh, finding. <laughs> it's a curved one. It's, it is like this. It's like, what does the hurricane do, you know? Or the movement of the wind. The thing is that if I have an idea based on one of my experiences, the material activates my imagination. I say, oh, I have this object and every day with this narrative that I'm trying to organize. And I start playing with it. I incorporate that object. Oh, I have to invent an object to the idea putting this object here with this one. It's a very organic way of organizing. Here in Loisa, the community for me is like an extension of my studio. No, no. Mira, eh, no he visto más eh, prines. En las parcelas hogar. Tengo que hablar con... No, pero están en la carretera. Sí, por eso. See that score, right? Everything has been chosen to react against. Here, look at this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. It takes time. I feel it. You have to be there all the time. You have to live with the peace. I literally sleep with the notebook and with the pencil there, so I could trap the idea. It's interesting how sometimes you are sleeping and then a solution comes. And then there is a day when you go to the studio and there is an harmony. Oh, there it is. My intention with this approach is, among other things, to remember. First pictures now coming in from Puerto Rico. Hurricane Maria slamming into the island, and as you heard, one official saying the island is destroyed. Tonight, Maria's direct hit, devastating Puerto Rico. I remember listening to the roof of the house. I was by myself. 
and the sound of the wind. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it was really terrible. Then I opened the door. I wasn't supposed to do that, of course. And then you see the palm tree fighting. It was sublime and terrible at the same time. But it was something else. And that's what I'm trying to do with this. How could I talk about the terrible and the sublime at the same time? Bit by bit, I was gathering the breeze from the hurricane. The tarp comes like a sea. See here, like a sea. Water, sand, represented by the burlap. The rays of the storm. We use uh, copper and aluminium. The thunder. So, music, rhythm, sound are related with the theme too. And here there is a figure that might be pointing to Virgin Mary. The hurricane was called Maria, and Maria is the mother of Christ. For me to cite the iconic representation, there is a contradiction there. Virgin Mary in the context of destruction. The way that these houses are built, they are not built in order to support the strike of a hurricane. So I'm talking about the problem of housing too. People with less resources to build something strong and properly in order to live in this area, in the Caribbean. Something that I remember from my childhood is that plant with those flowers. So imagine this road without this, sand and a lot of trees, but the same road. The experience of catastrophe, that's not exclusive of Puerto Ricans. There is a universality, regardless where you live in this world. People have to invent again when you don't have electricity, you know, you don't have water, you have to be inventive. And it's interesting because knowledge from the past came again. I remember when I was a child here in Loiza, everybody was doing something. My grandmother was a sewer. My uncle Luis was a mask maker. And my other uncle was a cabinet maker. So you could imagine that activities as a child, working with tools and woods and things, right? It was beautiful. I like to construct something that has unity, even though I am using diverse materials. But they are alive, you know? For me, that's language. The way you uh, arrange them to obtain unity. There, I find beauty. Intenta sacar el sonido que tú quieras. Intenta. Sí. That would be no. It's melancholic. Seems like already the Spaniards were here killing Indians. Like a lament. The long moon of something that had disappeared, you know. Which is that land before Columbus arrived. Use your imagination, yeah. Recreate that in your mind and then bring it through the instrument. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be trying to uh, do what our Taino Indians used to do. And that is uh, play it with the sound that was uh, what they used to communicate. With my student? 
If you, didn't, if you didn't learn something with Daniel, <laughs> you, you're not in the right place. He doesn't take a no, no. Invent yourself, reinvent. Yeah. Yeah. He That's pushes it. you to a limit. Okay, let's try it. Here in Loisa, we use custom all year long. Loisa tiene los ojos más grandes. Mira, ver. Máscara. Victor. Activities that I have here is to invite uh, people from my community, my friends and family. Those neighbors dress in a costume, like ancestors that came from the past to be with us, celebrating. Africa, ancestry. It's a very important ingredient of our identity. Here in Puerto Rico, of course. Yeah. Es el único pueblo en Puerto Rico fundado por personas de la raza negra, pero nunca nadie me habló del continente africano. Como afrodescendiente que soy, no importa cómo la gente lo tome, pero España no puede ser mi madre patria. Mi madre patria es África. Now we are going to invite our poets. They will be reading poetry there. And is there somebody in the public that would like to also know? Street poetry or whatever. El real estate es su religión. Los impuestos que los pague yo. Nos vieron en el piso, nos patearon las costillas y se aprovecharon con inversiones, con influencia, con todo lo que pueden comprar con dinero. No puedes vivir ahí. Eso es un Airbnb. Lo sé porque lo mismo bien San Croix. You have this space where everybody who wants could come and say something, you know, and communicate. como comunidad, como gente que va a traspasar tradiciones e historias, hay que seguir cumpliendo con esa responsabilidad para sobrevivir. Todos vivimos en la escuela juntos, somos familia y hemos tenido un trayecto bien largo en la vida muy buena. My intention was to find a language, find a process, find materials that establish the link between our collective experience and somehow bring something different but authentic. We have that knowledge from the past. We want to keep it and bring it to other generations.